I had just picked up my passenger. We were having a good conversation. On the way, he told me that he was meeting up with a friend. When we arrived at his destination, he exited the vehicle, walked up to a house, and his friend was sitting on the front stoop. And the next thing that happened was the most shocking thing that I've witnessed in my over 15,000 rideshare rides. This is the first video in a new series that we'll be doing called Rideshare Stories. Um, I will personally share some of my rideshare experiences, but we're also gonna look to you guys. If you guys have some really interesting rideshare stories, we'd love to share them. Uh, but without further ado, here's my scariest rideshare experience. This actually happened to me about four years ago, um, just two years into my rideshare driving experience. Again, that passenger told me that he was meeting up with a friend. It turns out when we arrived that he was actually conducting a Craigslist transaction. He was selling a computer to someone and what happened, what I witnessed, what was the most shocking thing, that person that he was meeting robbed him at gunpoint right in front of me. So when I witnessed it, I was in complete shock. Um, I, I had no idea what was happening. I didn't know if they were in on something together, if the next thing they were gonna do was possibly carjack me. The passenger that got robbed jumped right back into my car, was completely freaked out, and said drive and get me out of here to safety, basically. I then asked him what the hell just happened, and he told me that he was robbed at gunpoint by this person. So the, the guy actually just, he walked right past my car, right in front of my car, and he showed me the gun. I don't remember the guy pointing the gun at me, but he showed me the gun, and it scared the living hell out of me. All right, so after that dude passed, um, I just sped out of there and got out of there. I logged out of the Uber app, gave the, the guy that was robbed, a ride home, he was still freaking out in the back seat. I mean, his life just flashed before his eyes. It was, it was really surreal. And then I told the passenger that we have to report this to the police, um, and he was freaking out. He did not want to report it to the police because the guy that robbed him knew where he lived. But I told him that he had to report it somehow. Um, he obliged and told me that he would. Uh, when we arrived back at his house, I dropped him off. He thanked me for the return ride. When he exited the vehicle, I could still tell how rattled he was. I then logged out of driver mode for a good 20 minutes to try and process what had just happened. Um, again, it was just surreal. Needless to say, that was the craziest and scariest thing that has happened to me while driving rideshare. Um, I feel like I handled the situation properly. The most important thing I did is I got the passenger, drove him back to safety. Um, if I could have done something over again, I would have probably contacted the police on my own. But again, I did not do that because the passenger told me he didn't want me to. But luckily, I haven't had too many other crazy things happen in my over 15,000 rideshare rides. Um, I personally am mostly a daytime driver. I'd say about 95% of my rides have been during the daytime. But I know there's a lot of drivers that the majority of drivers probably drive nighttime, Friday and Saturday nights. I'm guessing a lot of those drivers have some really interesting stories. But what about you guys? Uh, do you have any crazy experiences or stories like this? Um, again, this will be an ongoing series and we'd love to share your stories as well. So leave a comment below and let us know. Thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, or subscribe and drive safe. Thanks.